All right, hello guys. So this is probably one of the weirdest videos I've probably ever created, but I don't know why I'm making it, but I'm only making this video because this has been popping up on my trending thing for almost a, like almost, for almost a week now, I, I, will, I will say. For almost a week now, this has been on my trending. So what's going on is this person named uh, SC Coachmaster, I think that's how you say it correctly, um, has been um, uh, taking other people's um, uh, posts or whatever and exposing them like without um, uh, their consent or whatever. Okay, and so um, uh, if it would now... This kind of, I mean, I've already explained this before. Now, if any of those posts have personal information about in them, then that means he posted some, uh, like, private information without the consent of that person who first posted it. So, at this point, he would be considered a person who leaked them. It has, so, and I'm not saying this because, like, for Roblox, leaking has nothing to do with Roblox, really. Unless you're putting private information on Roblox. I've I've explained this a, a few times before. But in case you guys don't know, I'll say it again. So basically what leaking is, it's when you take personal information and then distribute it without the specific person's consent or the specific company or whatever. Like, for instance, let's just say if I were to post the company name of the moving truck company that I work for, the school bus company that I work for, and I didn't have their consent, which I don't. I asked them once, and they won't let me either. I can't do that, and if I did that, then that would be considered leaking, and then, therefore, I would get fired from both of my jobs if I did that. And, therefore, I have to be respectful of that, especially because I'm a YouTuber. This stuff is especially really important when you're a YouTuber like me. So, yeah. A little bit of a life lesson for all of you YouTubers are, that are out there that are just starting to be on YouTube now. That haven't filmed videos in real life, kind of like this. Whereas you're filming discussion videos, that's a bit of a life lesson. So basically, that's what SC Coachmaster is. He's a leaker, sort of. He has been leaking personal information, if there's any of that going on in some of his videos. I don't know too much about that, because I'm not... Like, I think he's involved with some of the... Like, I think he's probably a member of the Roblox bus community, in which I'm not. I'm an ex-member of that. I am not really into the bus community anymore. The only thing I do that involves being in the bus community nowadays, that I do nowadays at this time around, is just driving school buses in person. And I enjoy doing that a lot better than I do in Roblox. I like the actual thing better than, than it is in Roblox, honestly. And the reason that I don't that I didn't enjoy being there was because people just weren't nice to me. They accused me of being a leaker and like, yeah, that's pretty much it. That, that's what they did. And then they kicked me out for it. So basically, yeah. And here I am now just talking about it. And so, yeah, it makes me really upset. The first people that accused me of being a leaker was Starlight, I think. I'm not sure if he is still in the bus community because I haven't been in the bus community since God knows how long. But yeah, that was, but this all happened two years ago. I don't exactly which month, know exactly which month it was, but yeah, that all happened two years ago. So yeah, it's not really something that I should worry about now, now that I've got too many things to do in life now, now that I'm out of high school, I've got some, uh, some people that I have to move to their new houses. I have some kids that I have to transport to school and from back home from school. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is pretty hard having two jobs to do for just, I, I, like, I mean, I work six days a week, right? So for the first six days from starting tomorrow to Mon to, to Wednesday, I have to um, uh, transport kids. Like, of course, as a school bus driver, that's what school bus drivers usually do. Well, I mean, school bus drivers can do other things too. I've done field trips before and um, uh, for the, and then from Sunday to Saturday, that's when I would be a moving truck driver. So sometimes on the days where I get paid really good, that is when I would go really to a really, really far distance. Like one time I went to Quebec from, uh, right from my town right here. I'm in my town right now. And yeah, 
I mean, it is pretty stressful, but it is worth it. I mean, I've got a much bigger truck now with a lot more room. I love that thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I liked the International too, but the Freightliner M2106 that I'm in with the extended cab just makes it so much better. Honestly, now that I have a bed behind me and not right next to me that I just pretty much just made myself. Yeah, this that's a lot better. Honestly, yeah. Really does help me out a lot, and I've got a lot more room. I... I'm thinking about putting a little small mini fridge inside of it and a little microwave too in case I wanted to um uh you know it's kind of like driving like a driving like in a semi truck but I drive a straight truck. I don't drive a semi truck. I drive a moving truck. So yeah, it's just a 35 foot moving truck. So yeah, it's really not that special, but if you guys like moving trucks or whatever like straight trucks for some of you guys that are in the Roblox bus community still. Yeah. And what's also really unique is, I don't think I told you guys yet, for those of you that didn't know, I mean, I've told some of you guys before, but for those of you who didn't know, I'm, as a school bus driver, I'm, you guys might not know what I actually drive yet. I drive a 2011 Thomas C2. It's got the 7.2 liter Mercedes in it, the turbo diesel Mercedes. It's not a cat. They, they, they stopped making those in, uh, they stopped selling those in the, the C2s in like 2009 or something. I don't know. I don't know too much about Thomas buses and all that stuff. I don't know too much about that. And really, I don't know too much about that anymore, specifically, because I'm not really in the bus community anymore. All I do that involves with it is just transporting kids in person, doing the actual thing. So, yeah. Now, basically, now more about what um, uh, th people think leaking is actually. People use the word leaking as a term for just taking school buses without permission. It's already used as a term, so they can't really use it. They would have to find something else. I mean, just because you just because they think that leaking has to do with school buses, like has to do with taking like school buses without the consent of someone else doesn't mean that it is actually leaking. It has to have personal information that is that is distributed without consent of someone or some type of company first before it can be considered leaking so with that said it's not always considered leaking it has to have personal information which was taken without the consent of someone or some sort of company first so like for instance if i were to just take a school bus and not put any private information on it or something it would be just fine if i were to put like let's say my company that i work for which i will not tell you guys whatsoever if I were to put that on the bus, that would then at that point that would be considered leaking. It would not. So, yeah, that would that's how leaking works. It has nothing to do with school buses unless you're putting private information on them, and then the same and anything else it has nothing to do with anything else for that matter. But leaking, like for private information, all that, all that stuff. I'm not sure why they are using that word for the term for that stuff, but I think it's pretty not smart honestly like I, I just think they should just find another word for it or something i don't know and if they're against it then they should just mind their own business and just not talk to people anymore and not exclude them from their bus company i mean that's really rude honestly to just exclude someone from it that's what they did to me they kicked me out so i'm basically blacklisted from there it's not it's not really blacklisted this just I, this just me getting excluded from the bus community i've had people get some of my friends get excluded as well. Like, Yo-Yo is one of my friends. He he took a bunch of buses, and he didn't actually put private information, so he's not actually a leaker if you're watching this right now, Yo-Yo. You're a good man, honestly. You're not actually a leaker. I respect you. It's just people are just physically not wanting to respect you because they're thinking they're using the wrong word for that stuff. They need to find something else. I mean, if you guys have a problem with what I'm saying, good. Honestly, you can get you can stop watching this right now. You don't have to give me any comments on this. I don't care whether or not you guys are going to they're not going to like it. I mean, if you guys go ahead and comment about it all you want. I'm not going to argue with you guys, okay? Because you guys you guys really need to work it up here with how you do these things, but I'm not going to get into an argument with you guys about this stuff. I don't have the time to argue with you. I've got too many things to do in life now. I mean, 
I'm out of high school. I'm a school bus driver in person. I'm, I'm a moving truck driver. I've got too many things to do, guys. So I don't have the time to argue with you guys, okay? And so, yeah. But other than that, yeah, I'm not sure why this SC Coachmaster even does this, to be honest. But I found out from one of the people that I used to talk to for a bit. His name was Beta at the time. And he still goes by that today, actually. Him and I weren't friends. I mean, we barely ever talked to each other back then in the bus community. I mean, he tried training me once for, I think, a company called American Bus Company, if I recall correctly. I was lagging pretty much. And uh, basically, that just made me lose the whole thing of me that just made me fail honestly because my wi-fi was just terrible at the time so yeah i mean it is what it is sometimes you're just gonna lag pretty much honestly but at least i mean at this point i mean i guess that i guess i mean all that stuff did give me kind of a life lesson for um uh driving buses in person right because now that's what i do for living uh, that's part of the things i do for living right is it because i drive buses basically so when it comes to that yeah and then I think he also trained me in Marina Valley Unified School District. I'm not sure if that's still opened either. I haven't been in the bus community since, like, for two years, honestly. For not not really in the bus community anymore. I do still have my own group. But, like, I don't have much to think about it. Like, my bus is just... I won't even say anything about my buses, honestly, That in Roblox. But I'm not really in the Roblox bus community anymore, guys, really. Um... But yeah, that's my story. And for those of you that don't remember who I actually was, Beta, like, I'm pretty sure Beta knows who I, like, remembers who I was back in the time. I was T-Fan Summer at the time, like, with just the, all the capitals on the username. That's what I used to go by. And nowadays, at this time around, I just go by my real name. I'm Morris. Like, that's my real name. Morris Carlson. I've, I always say it as, like, at the end of the video. But the kids that I transport call me Mr. Carlson. That's what I go by as, like, for, like, when I'm driving a school bus. Mr. Carlson is what I go by. So, yeah. But at the end of the day, I mean, I don't see why some people do this. I mean, some people haven't learned yet. And, uh, yeah. But other than that, Yeah. All I know is that before I go, guys, I just honestly, I couldn't imagine that SC Coachmaster would take any of my videos, honestly, without his consent. He would just have to ask me first before he would do so, and then I would let him, of course. But just, well, that depends on the videos. I would have to look at them first before, but yeah, you get the point. He is taking videos without permission. He has to ask me first. I, I can't imagine that he would, but I can't predict it. But other than that, yeah. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and, um, yeah, and then we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day or night, everybody. I'm Morris Carlson.